Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bo. My page is called Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed, and it's also uh, not only on Facebook, but I'm on YouTube. So check me out, please, and I want to show you something really cool today. I'm doing a video on it because I didn't want to it, uh, not be able to see your comments, and it takes a little bit of strategy to get these made. So this is a laminated little notebook. It has magnetic closure, and it's got the person's initial on here, on the inside, and it stays, okay? My friend Karen, my sister friend Karen, suggested that I make a kind of a uh, laminated pocket. I'm going to show you how to do that, and you just trim down the back of your book so that you can easily take it out and replace it with a new one, okay? Now, most of us keep notes on our phone, but y'all, some of us really love a handwritten little note, whether it's a grocery list or something you want to remember. It's more tangible than out there in the cloud, right? So I've created these, um, these little booklets for some friends, and this is my Bible study uh, format also. I have a, you know, a larger one that um, that I made, and I'll try to remember to put pictures of it. And it's got several books in it. It's more like a um, travel journal because it's got a an elastic ribbon that goes through it. It, it doesn't have this. It's got an elastic ribbon that um, I punched holes, and I'll show you this one. I punched holes in the back of it like this. This is one that was, uh, it was just a one I was trying to figure things out. And you tie the the um, ribbon, okay? And it has like two or three books in it. So one is for actual sermons and the other is for Bible study. And it's a big one like this. It fits in my little Bible bag and I love it. So, I thought, why not make some small ones for some friends? And I'll show you. I've got a bunch. I've got a bunch. They're all in here. And, and I, can't, I can't really have a favorite, y'all, because I love them all. Right? Oh, this one goes that way. That's a D. I only had lowercase letters, and I could have cut them out with my Cricut. Um... Cricut Joy, the Scan and Cut, the Silhouette. Yes, I know, y'all. I've got, I've got too many things, but my kids are grown, and um, you know, it keeps me off the streets, right? <laughs> anyway, so let's make it. All right, we're gonna start now because I had a situation. I was trying to make something. Um, I was trying to do a video on this yesterday, and uh. This thing ate it, y'all. Ate it. So, we're going to use this paper that used to be uh, 12, 12 by 12, okay? So, I'm just going to, I really want this paper. And this is a Stampin' Up! celebration through February. But anyway, you, it's free with $50 purchase. But you don't have to have this paper. You can have any kind you want. It's nine inches this way, and I'm going to cut it down to, where's my note? Please hold, I think it's four, four and a quarter, but let's look. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, four and a half. See, that's, that's why I need to look. Nine inches this way, and I'm going to cut four and a half. No, four and a half. <laughs> okay, so... I've got my little cutter here. I'm going to four and a half right here. And I'm conscious of the way the print is going because when you open it up, when you open it up, you want the print going correctly, which it is not here, right? Okay. Get back in there. There. Okay. So you start with... You could start with anything that's larger than nine inches. Um, an eight and a half by eleven would do, but you want 
I, for this, the way that I'm telling you how to do it, I want you to have a, like a paper, not a card stock, because of the bulk once you start, um, once you start putting it all together. I'm making sure there's nothing stuck in here because um, it really ate that other one last night. And I was doing a video for y'all and everything. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm still going to show them because it happens, right? And um, I, I did just kind of get up and abandon the project because I was a little frustrated, but it's just paper. We can do it again, right? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is measure my book. This uh, book right here is from Office Depot. It is four and a half by three and a quarter. And I know that this is going to be my flap for the outside. And come on now. This, I want this paper to go right up to the edge of my book. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Now, we're, we're going to have to... Um, Con we're going to have to make this again and again. We're going to have to use the, oh, uh, come on now, bone folder at some point to make this a more crisp fold um, after we laminate. And let me find a different one. Okay, that's a good one. All right, now, I'm not making it snug. This, this first one is pretty snug, okay? But the rest, I'm gently wrapping around keeping my edges like this. And you see there's a little bit of give in this because when you add the layer of um, the plastic, I know y'all are, y'all got the word, but I don't. Um, I'll show you, I'll show you the box it came out of also. When you layer that on, you're going to have more bulk. So here I'm going to go ahead and press down with my bone folder and get that crisp edge. Laminating sheet, it came out. I knew it would. I was either gonna say it now or, you know, later in line when I'm standing in line in a grocery store or something, I'll scream out, laminating sheet. And I mean, it happens, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it still fits well. There we go. All right, we're going to gently pull this around. I need a little more definition on that fold. There we go. It's a little, it's a little tight, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, so I'm going to make sure that my edge here fits well, so I don't have like that sticking out. I'm going to Put that back and tell it who's boss, okay? And then this one, same thing. I'm going to fold it like this. Press it down a little bit before we actually tell it who's boss. Boss, boss. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to... Look at it real quick, and it's going to end up like this and that, okay? Now, there. There, you see, it, it can be it can be just a little wiggly in there. Okay, and, and I mean, that is because when we go to put our magnets on, we want to have, we want this flap and the magnets to meet. These are called magnetic discs. They're made by uh, Basic Gray, B-A-S-I-C-G-R-E-Y, same one word. And I bought these forever ago, but I'm sure I got them on Amazon. And there's a positive and negative. As you see here, you have positives and negatives, and they have to marry, okay? Um, and they are, they have adhesive on one side which works perfectly. Now, they are a pain to get out of the case. And had I thought about it, I would have done that first before the video, but I didn't think about it. So here we are. Oh, look, look at this acting right. See, positive and negative. Oh, come on now. Hang on, hang on. 
I want them to be like this. So they're going to be adhesive. They're going to adhere on this side and that side. Okay. Oh, he wants to be over there with his family. And then this one probably, come on now. All right. There's, well, there's two sets. We need four. Four sets of two. Oh, this one's a little bit of a booger to get out. Okay, well, y'all can be together. Together forever. Ever, ever. Oh, come on. Maybe I should just dig them all out like that, huh? It seems to go a little easier. Oh, hello. Okay, these two want to be together, and they are sticking at the adhesive part. Get away, Rube. Okay, now let's get these, these two sets apart. Oh, come on. There we go. Y'all. Okay, so... Here's the thing. I'm going to line these up. I'm going to take off the sticker. It doesn't matter which side you put on. Um, for some reason, I always do the positive first. And I'm going to put it like this. Okay? Y'all. It, it you know, it's hard to be me. Don't try it. Just don't try it. Okay? All right, here we go. Here we go, we're gonna take this one off. And my laminator is heating up as we speak. Oh, it's actually ready, it says ready. And this is nothing fancy, I'm, I'm not kidding. It Maybe it was 20 something bucks on Amazon. It is a um, Scotch laminating machine, it was cheap. Now the laminating paper I'm gonna show you is not cheap, however, I bought a box of 200 because when I use it y'all I don't want to I don't want to have to go buy some I want to have it ready and um so far it has lasted me a long time you know when you're crafting and you're like I just want it right I don't want to have to I don't want to have to uh stop and go shopping I don't want to go look for the right thing I just I want it ready Okay, here we go. They're a little they're a little wonky, but it's okay. They they don't have to be perfect. Okay. Um so each one of these magnets, there are two stuck together. And I bet y'all know what I'm gonna do next. Here we go. We need to get our little pad back. We're gonna put him in here just to be sure. Now I'm um, when I close this and stick those on to here. I'm not going to close it tight. Again, we need a little bit of wiggle room. Checking to make sure we're even right here. Okay. And I'm pressing it down. And yeah, I'm shaking a little bit because I haven't eaten breakfast, y'all. I just wanted to get this video made because I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do. Now, I'm looking inside so that I can separate these monkeys. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I got that one. Um, if you are taking yours apart and one of them uh, tears the paper, all you got to do is just add some glue. Let it know who's boss. Okay, there we go, right? Okay, now we want to decorate the front a little bit. Now, this is my front flap, okay? So I went to Hobby Lobby, and I got a pack of doilies. They actually are right here. And you get 24 for $1.99. They're in the bakery, y'all, because they're food safe, apparently. I don't know. Made in China, they'll probably kill us. But I'm just saying... Um, that, that was a, that was not necessary. Sorry. Anyway, Sunnyside Up Bakery, excuse me, at Hobby Lobby, or if you've got some paper doilies or whatever you want to use, they'll do. These are 4.4 inches in diameter. Okay. All right. So 
I cut some for the fronts of those others that I showed you. And I'm going to glue this down. And, you know, I'm not using the whole doily, although you can. You can put your whole doily, well, not the whole doily. You can put your piece of doily on there and fold it over like this before you put on your magnets, okay? Um, but I'm just going to glue this. Maybe I'll cut it first. Please hold. Your call is important to us. You know when we get that, we know that our call's not important. They're happy if we hang up, right? I mean, somebody said, oh, make their call important. It's not. The other day, I had to call the doctor's office, and y'all, the music, oh my gosh. The music started out just a little annoying. It got into where, you know, I... I woke up and chose violence. I mean, it was bad, like I wanted to fight. Um, <laughs> it was this new age kind of, I don't even know what to call it, but it was horrible. So I hung up, I called back, and they knew who I was. They're like, oh, hey, Miss Bohannon, I was about to come back. And um, I'm like, well, your music was so horrible, I had to hang up. Okay. I'm using Altenew's Bold Alphabet Die. Y'all, I got these from a uh, sale that I went to. It was an incredible sale at a woman's house. It, there's a long story. There's a video on it way back, probably in 2022, definitely in 2022. And they're all lowercase, but that's, you know, that's what we have, so that's what we're using. Okay, so now I need to dig a little piece of um, paper out of my stash. We're going to... Mm, that's a little different blue than what I want. Same blue. Hang on. Hang on. Yes, I should have gotten it out before. Okay, regardless, I'm going to use this. It's the same blue. I'm not using it. What did I just say? I know. I said regardless, didn't I? This is the one I'm looking for. More of a purpley blue. Okay. So I'm going to put my little die. This is a metal die. It's got, not sharp like it's going to cut you, but it's got an edge on it that's going to cut through this paper as soon as I run it through my little die cutting machine, which I'll show you. I'll show you. Just cut off the excess. And let me move this guy right there. Nope, over here. I won't be able to find it. It's on my right, so. <laughs> okay, here we go. You put the die down on the paper. You make a little sandwich and lock this guy down. Move this guy back. I know, it's a hot mess. I'm trying to stay in the camera. One of my machines, I go this way. The other machine, this one, I have to go backwards. So I have to, I have to, relearn everything, right? Okay. There we go. We have our K. Let me put that back. If you use dies, you always want to put them back because um, you can easily lose them. I have a metal tray I use also. See how pretty that's going to be? Okay. So, I'm going to put this little glue on here. And we're gonna put this right along the edge. Okay, there we are. So now we have our magnets, we have our creases, we have this, these magnets, boop, and the K. All right, oh, and the dolly. Now, what do we need? We need our um, laminating sheet. So I'm gonna show you how that goes. These are the laminating pouches that I use. They are, it says durable, clear finish, professional quality, and it tells you how to use it. 200 pouches. I think it was around 40 bucks for this. Um, it also says three mil and letter size. So that's important. They have a five mil, but I didn't need that. So I'm gonna take one sheet out. 
right here. And the laminating sheets have like a seam right here where um, when you separate them like this, it's a pouch, okay? Now, our sheet is going to be a little larger than our paper. Remember, this was nine inches by four and a half. So this, the laminating sheet, is going to be nine and a quarter by four and three quarters. We'll get our trimmer out again. And we're going to go with four and three quarters, which is... Uh oh stop, stop, stop. No. <laughs> oh, no. Good thing we're going to cut that off. Boy, that was like a hungry little hippo, wasn't it? Let me do it this way. Y'all saw that happening, didn't you? Okay, we're going to do four and three quarters. We're going to save this, even though, even though, all right, we're going to need it. And then this part is going to be nine and a quarter, which is right there. Nine and a quarter. And I'm, I'm uh, measuring on the part that had, this is the part we're going to use again. I'm measuring just after that seam there. So that little area there is the nine and a quarter. Okay. Now, with no fear of this thing eating it without me wanting it to, I'll move it back. Again, we're going to keep this piece and here we go. I'm going to put, it doesn't matter which end you put in first, but I just, I just tend to put this end in first. Okay, so I want you to know what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this margin and this margin. It needs to be in the center, close. You don't have to measure anything. You just want, you just want some margin on both sides, okay? Like this. I hope you can see that. There's, there's a little bit of margin on both sides. Now, here's the fun part. And I'm, I'm not going to make any promises, y'all, because I, I'm hoping my laminating machine just had a moment when it, um, when it, when it was rude and ate the other piece, which, where did I put it? Ah, I'm, I'm hoping it just had a moment when it did this because, um, I'm not, I'm not amused, not amused, but I also did it, I fed it this way instead of that way, and I think I think it wasn't ready. It just wasn't ready. So here we go. If you're, well, you'll be on replay. You can fast forward probably about 30 seconds. I had to finish my hot chocolate. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. I'm holding it up on the back side just so it doesn't run into my markers. Okay. I'll start to turn it off. You don't turn it off yet. Okay, so my, my folds, because I came in with my bone folder and I made them pretty crisp, so they're doing well on the outside with my um, laminating sheet. I just, y'all, I love this craft so much. I love to make things that are useful. I mean, if somebody gets something like this in the mail, they're not gonna throw it away. They're not. They're gonna put it in their junk drawer, but they're always gonna have paper when they need it. Or they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I love that. And then they're going to put it in their purse, right? Y'all, okay. This is one of the pieces that I cut off. Okay, so now this, this is where you might want to pay a little close attention. We're going to separate it. Now, my friend Karen Zinkowski told me to try this because I was having issues getting the little things to stay in. You cannot glue. glue. I won't say you can't. I have not found a glue that will glue to laminating sheet. And you don't need to. 
We're going to use this as the as the gripper, so to speak. And we're going to take this and we're going to cut a piece off of it like that. So now it is shorter than its counterpart. We're going to put this we're going to put this right here matching the edges. These edges really need to be matching because if not, they're going to seal. Flip them over because this is the part that's going to be in the heat. Lay it down in the middle. Double check and make sure that that's your front. And I'm putting it further this way so that I can tuck my notepad in there. Okay. All right. Now we are going back through again. We're going to hold on. This laminating machine better do me good. Better do me good. Now, when you do this, the only part that's going to stick to the laminating sheet is the part that does not have double. All right? And the part that is double is going to stick to itself, making a pocket. You'll see. And it may be hard to see in the camera. I hope not. Maybe. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is trim this edge. Got a little cray-cray right there. And look, you have a pocket. A good, firm pocket, right? Okay, so now I'm going to take this back flap of my Office Depot little book and I'm going to see where I need to cut in. Now, I know you cannot see this, but where the, where the actual pocket is, like this is stuck to the sheet, and then right here is where the pocket starts. So I know I need to cut off that. And right here, and this doesn't matter if it's even or not. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to see where my pocket starts because my little book is going to go to there. So I'm going to mark here and here. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut, cut that out so that you can put a new book in here when your old one is all used up. Y'all getting this now? Isn't this fun? Hang on. Come on now. I'm shaking because I haven't eaten yet, and now I'm going to I'm going to tuck this in. And we're almost done. Tuck it in right there. Come on now. Maybe need to go. There we go. Oh, it stuck a little bit on the bottom, but it's okay. We got through. Tucked it in right there. See how that is tucked in? I'm going to close it. And I'm going to snap it shut. Now, you see how it bows out? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Tell it who's boss again. Let's turn this guy off because we're done, y'all. We are done. I'm trying to unplug it. There we go. And this one is going in my purse so that I can use it as a little notepad. Sometimes you just want to write something down, right? And not go look for it in the mini folders of your phone. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking I might just make a ton of these for my Bible study girls, too. Now, when you do this with your laminating sheet, it really, really helps to enhance those folds. I don't like sharp corners, so I'm also going to just round this off. Um, I don't like to cut my hands on sharp plastic. I mean, who does, right? So just kind of 
And I'm also going to trim this piece like this and round off that corner. Okay, so now y'all, look at here. We got our cutout back. We've got our pocket like this. I can, I can get more of these little books and put in there. I'm going to close it up. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Look, something has to go funky, right? Something has to every time. Anyway, that happened. So it's okay. It still works fine. And it's for me. So it, you know, I don't feel like I have to make it all over again. But there you go. Isn't that fun? I'm wondering if this will fit in a man's pocket. If so, do a guy kind of a thing. There's all kinds of um, 12 by 12 paper at Hobby Lobby that looks like leather or brick. Um, you could do, you. I mean, it's endless. You could do a kid th theme, anything you want. You could do a mechanic theme, a carpenter theme, whatever you want to do, y'all. And there it is. How fun is that? I hope you enjoyed my video. Please consider um, subscribing to my YouTube channel, Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed, or my Facebook page. Um, like and share my Facebook page, Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed. And thank you so much for stopping by. God bless and toodles.